Hey, hello, everyone. This is Dave talking to you from Queens, New York. And welcome to tonight's discussion of the coronavirus. I welcome all of you for a lively discussion about this big problem that we all seem to have. Not here, some not here as well, in here, but not but all, but all, but all over the world. Waiting to get somebody on here. Have a couple of things to tell you. Uh, today, I was visiting uh, a, a, a tax preparer's office, and out of the blue. A sheriff, saw, a sheriff officer came in and cited the owner with two criminal summons. One for not wearing a mask and one for sitting at his desk without a mask. Now that's, you know, that's crazy. And it's not a civil penalty, it's a criminal charge, which is very serious. And he had to go to court in September. Who needs it? Who needs it? Waiting for anybody to come in here to the chat room and talk. Let's see who's there. Hope there's someone out there to talk to. Anybody out there tonight that I could speak with?
Anybody out there looking for someone to speak with? Hey, Tony, it's Dave. Wanted to get back to you. I think you tried to call me, but it may have been an accident, but no problem. If you're up to call me, I'll be here for a while. I'm going to be streaming in about, well, well excuse me. I'm just about ready to, I, I just started streaming. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. I'll be here for a while. Bye. <clears throat> so, ladies and gentlemen, I'm waiting for someone to enter our little, our lovely little chat room. I'd like to discuss uh, tonight's topic, the coronavirus, COVID-19, and the constant uh, infringement of our civil rights. And people are rolling. Well, that's not true, but it seems like the, that, the, that uh, they're trampling all over our constitutional rights. You heard today of this lady. This uh, a woman who has uh, a beauty salon that was cited, closed her business, and she had this, and, and the judge found her guilty, and forced to do seven days in jail. And the governor uh, came back and tell and and told, made a comment in the newspaper that it was di that it was disgusting. Well, Mr. Governor, you can reverse the the decision of that judge. You have the power within your grasp to give her a pardon. Why haven't you? I like to know why. What's the problem? Yeah. Very nice. And uh, apparently um, some U.S. mercenaries were involved in trying to overthrow Maduro in Venezuela. Four, I think it was, it was four American citizens were arrested. But these guys, I don't know. I mean, I saw the little rinky-dinky, binky, blinky, cookie boat that they came in on. All painted white. And, uh, and they caught them. I don't know the details in any way. I would like to know if they came in during the cover of night. Or during the daytime? And who ratted them out? It could be all one staged event to make the president look bad. Because Venezuela is very friendly with China, Iran, and with Russia. Very, very friendly with each other. They could have created that as a diversion, as a distraction, as a distraction to make the president look Bad. Because during yesterday's press conference, one of the reporters asked him about it, and he said, I don't know anything about it. So there's another open. Now, now that opens up another can of worms. If we knew nothing about it, then one is forced to conclude that they're conducting funny business behind the back of the president. I read that the that uh, the persons responsible are multi billion uh, multi millionaires with close ties to the president. Can't blame the president for that. If I'm one of his buddies and I go off the reservation and get caught, why would that reflect the president? Unless he authorized it, and I don't believe that he did. 
all these things are happening at the right time. Very up, very optimum, very, very optimum. To take advantage of the situation. And of course, China is running its mouth against the United States and back and forth and back and forth. What's the point of this bickering? We need to come up with we need to come up with some sort of a cure treatment in order to in order to slay this evil dragon. Because the governor is not gonna let us go from his grips. He's not gonna get us, you know, he's not gonna let us go. I don't see why all restaurants can reopen. The McDonald's are open. You got a 24-hour a day McDonald's down at Union Square. They're open. And no one seems to be complaining about McDonald's at Union Square. The other McDonald's in my neighborhood. They're open. And what's happening with that? You're going to close every other restaurant around, but keep McDonald's open. Something's pretty suspicious. Also... They're enforcing the the social distancing. Two, they're going to give you a summons <laughs> for not having a mask. I don't know. It's law now. I mean, who made this law up? The governor? Who advised them? It's not fair. It's not fair. Because if you inhale, you know, how can I phrase this? If you have your mask on for eight or nine hours a day, you're inhaling large amounts of carbon dioxide that you expel. And that's not good for your health. So why would you want to do that? Because I have a mask. When, I'm, when there's no one around, I take it off, put it on the side, and I breathe fresh air, or one might think it as fresh. It's not that well with all with, with the well. Traffic is still there, but there's no aircraft flying above us, and other and other creatures, other devices aren't functioning. I know the mayor, in his infinite wisdom, is going to be closing off about 40 miles of roads, and all. And already, I have seen a smart ass say, oh, he should keep it like this for good. Keep the cars off the road. What are you, an idiot? You are an absolute positive idiot. You have retail stores and restaurantes that need to have their deliveries of food, drinks, beer, french fries, whatever you want. Oh, oh are you going to make an exception? Supply trucks are allowed to go? And, yeah, that's real smart. That's brilliant thinking. But the guy, you know, the, the people are so susceptible to anything now. People have been cooped up so long, the mental stress is beginning to affect them. And I'm one of them. It's affecting me deeply. By the by, I see we have a second person here online. And I wonder who that could be, pray tell. Would you like to chime in on this chime in on the subject and matter? Or are you going to sit there as a second person and not say anything? Now that's really now, now, now really folks, that's annoying. That's annoying. The reason why I make great efforts to have these chat rooms is not only for myself, but for you. And for me to see two persons on there, and they're not responsible, well, it's, they include me, but someone else out there in YouTubeville who isn't responding. Well, why the heck is that, man? Why do you bother? Why do you bother? Do us both a favor and write something into the chat box. box. Ask me a question. How are you? How you feeling? And I'll tell you, I suck. I suck. I'm not in a very, very happy mood. I'm alive? Yeah, okay. So I'm alive. All right, all right. All right, you got me on that one. 
I'm back in my prison, in my jailhouse, because the government dictated it to me. Once again, violating the Constitution of the United States. If you don't want to come out, don't, don't come out. Stay in. For those that want to go out and do their business, like get a, go back to work, pay your bills, have food on the table, and drinks, and other little minor luxuries, well, damn it, let me go. Uh, who is this second person there? Oh, here we are. Oh, nice to see you. Hello, Maurice. How are you? Yes, yes. I forgot about that. Very strange, wouldn't you say? Very, very strange. I saw that on Yahoo News. And I haven't seen it anywhere else. Yet. I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting for that shoe to drop real hard and real fast. Welcome again, Maurice. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I hear that the governor is going to, is going to be opening up parts of the economy in California, eh? Huh? Step by step process. Yeah, he's going to be surprised. He's going to be very, very surprised. When he, when he opens up, you're not going to have you, 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 all the problems that you envisioned are is not going to transpire. It's a trippy situation, trippy, 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 trippy. Oh, I saw that uh, the, the film that you sent me. I've already seen it. Let me double check. Come on, come on, Mister Internet Explorer, wake up. Let's see what it says. A blogger gets country man got NYP for is is enforcing. It's glaring. Just the audacity. It's their business. It's their business. What do they care? What do they care? What do they care? These people, photos ignite controversy over lockdown. The Bronx, May 2nd. The, uh, the West Village, Manhattan, May, May 2nd. Tomorrow's going to be 15 degrees warmer. I expect more people to be outside. It's only natural. Controversy. Controversy. Oh, please. These self-righteous pigs. And for all I know, they're trolls. They could be government trolls. Let's see if I I still have. Oh, this thing is too much. Here we go. Here we go. The Texas governor. Uh, was very unhappy with uh, what happened. This lady in California, in Texas, yeah. Uh, Governor Abbott and A.G. Paxson condemned jailing of Salon, Salon owner Shirley Luther. Luther. So what's the problem? She wants to open up that you open up. It's her business. She has to put foot on the table. I'm trying to find your thing that you sent me. Yeah, I like this. Uh, let's see. Yes, I see it. Alex, jo yes, I did see it last night. He scares me, man. He scares me. I don't know about him. My friend told me tonight that uh, he's a disinformation guy. Yes, well, well, they got the herd immunity. Yes, of course. Of course they did. Of course. That's how it was back in the old days. You know, I, I, I don't understand this. <sighs> I don't understand this 
this model. Some guy from England, I forgot to tell my friend Panos, some guy from England was the one that designed it. That, you know, they went to him. They went to him asking for advice. What should we do? What should we do? What should we do? And it was a big mistake. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. Welcome third and fourth person to our little chat time. Yeah, you know, I, I, I used to like him, but he made a big mistake with um, with uh, with one of those shootings. He was saying that there was a false flag operation. And I felt like, be careful. They're setting you up for a trap. And they sued him. They sued him. And before you start saying things like that, Alex, you got to think things through and have as many fact checkers that you can employ to verify these things. Because when that happened, I stayed away from it. I didn't want to say nothing, nothing, nothing. I don't know if it was a false flag operation or not. Well, take, for example, speaking of false, false flags, look, well, you heard about those four, um, those four American citizens, former Rangers that were captured in Venezuela for making, trying to assassinate the president Maduro of Venezuela. Now, how do I know? How do I know that isn't one big setup? I saw the picture of one of their little boats floating, and it's painted white. Uh, you know, wouldn't you want to come in under the cover of night? Why did they just, you know, they, they came in the daytime, I suppose. I don't know the specific details, the details but they came in on a white boat or a white dinghy into Venezuela, and they were waiting for them, which means someone knew of the plan and ratted them out. Now, the guys who they arrested don't seem very, um, how can I say, Anglo-Saxon. They don't seem to be like uh, the average American soldiers, green berets they were. These men are in the tip, these men are in the highest physical condition. And the one that I saw looked kind of fat and flabby like me. That ain't no, I mean, I could be wrong, but my my initial impression is this. They don't look like Green Berets. And you know what you you know the type of people that are that, that belong to that elite brand of, of, of military organization? They're fit. They have muscles. These guys look like knuckleheads. You know, what is going on here? And they questioned the president about it. And he said, I don't know anything about it. Well, that opens up another can of worms. The worms are this. They are conducting black ops behind his back. I would demand, now, I don't know. I'm not privy to what he's thinking or what he's not doing. But you would think that, you know, that he would order, you know, that, that he would demand an investigation. Because now Maduro is going cuckoo for coca puffs on the president's head. But we know who they're friendly with. Russia, China, and Iran. They're very, very friendly with these people. Very friendly. And who knows what kind of shenanigans they're up to. It could be of a Venezuelan false flag. These guys are Venezuelan soldiers, and uh, and they're pretending to be American soldiers. They just don't look like the Green Beret type, clean shaven, chiseled face, chiseled faces, top physical condition. I'm not convinced by. It. I just think it's another. I think the I think the the Venezuelans are playing playing a game or pulling the wool over his face. Silly, 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 silly. I don't believe it for a moment. I have no reason to. I have no reasons to. No reason to believe anything anymore. I think there's just a lot of misinformation out there. I heard today on the podcast, and the reporter said that <laughs> Cuomo claims that he will not open the city until a vaccine is found. Really? Oh, really? 
until a vaccine is found, eh? Well, we're going to wait 30, 40 years because they never found a vaccine for AIDS. They don't have a vaccine for uh, for uh, flus. Hmm? I don't know. I don't know. Very, very suspicious. And I want to research it. And if this source is correct, he didn't say that. He didn't say that. He said something that the only way to resolve this problem is with a vaccine. And the president is saying, hopefully by the end of the year. Well, we can't wait till the end of the year, guys. It's very simple. Follow the Swedish models. The persons that, the people that are, uh, let's see, I think Trump needs to send Greensboro over to China. Uh, yeah, I, I, I would say so. I don't know if he'll solve the problem, but at this point, why not? Yeah. They're ramping up their program against this country. They want to be the first one in leaders in technology. They want to dominate us. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I'm nothing against the Chinese people. I have something against the CCP, the Communist Party, China, the Chinese Communist Party. They're communists. They're communists. My goodness gracious. What is it with these people? Well, we help build them. We help create this Frankenstein monster called China. To thank uh, Henry Kissinger for this and President uh, President Genius uh, Nixon. Hmm? But then again, President Nixon, he, ah, who knows? But President Nixon was um, it's a different leader back then. Leaders were different in China. I think it's all one big grand, grand plan. It's a grand scheme that they have. They want to dominate the world. They want to, you know, they want to dethrone us. And they do it by intellectual property theft, spies, and who knows what else that they're doing. Well, you heard about those drones that the, that the police are using. They're all Chinese manufactured and engineered. And they're, and they're surveillance devices, not only for the police, but, the, but for themselves. How would you, why would they want to buy that stuff? Why would you? I see there's, that there's a third person here. And uh, hello, third person. Would you like to say something? I'd like to chime in on the conversation. What are we up to? What are we doing? How are you feeling tonight? I know Maurice is doing well. He's from San Diego, California. And I'm from New York. I don't I I'd rather be out there, but then again, who knows? Who knows what the heck is going on? So how are you holding up there, Maurice? Just holding? Yeah, I'm just holding too. And this is no vacation. This is no vacation. I'm not having no I'm not having a vacation. <laughs> This is darn hard. We're going through a lot here. <sighs> what? They use a military issued tank to some guys in restaurant today. The tank kind of looked like a yellow monster truck. But why were they using military issue weapons on civilians? Yeah, that's true. Why are they using military weapons on civilians? And where were the Patriots with their semi automatic AR 7s? Where were they? You know, that's what I was telling a friend of mine tonight. If the people turn on the government and the military is called in, they're going to get wiped out because the military has what? An air force with advanced technology. An army with advanced technology such as drones 
and sonic weapons and specialized training? How are these people going to stand up to them? I'm sure in, in these uh, in these militias, you have former you know former soldiers that might give us an insight into their tactics. The, the tactics, but if you arm me with an AR-7, I can fight. When I was younger, when I was younger, I used to fire weapons. Oh, that brings back memories. And uh, I think I can fire one. Excuse me. But thanks for asking me how I'm doing. I can't hold anything in. I fucked up right now. Risk playing the Jambe drum, African drum. Okay. Well, I'm glad you're having fun with your drums. I have no drums. I, I I'm not as musical musical a person as I thought I was. You know, my father was a frustrated musician, and he passed that frustration along to me. I don't blame him. I still love my pop, still love my old man. But see, my father had a musical gift. It missed me. And it's only natural. Parents usually want to live through their children. I have a beautiful daughter that I love very much, and I'm crazy about my daughter. But, you know... She is the opposite of me, I think. She's a, she's a psychologist, social worker. Me, I studied music. I'm kicking myself in the ass for that one. I don't know what's going to happen, boys and girls. So are you playing your drums right now? I can't hold anything right now. I screwed up my right, my right wrist playing... Oh, that must hurt. Yeah, yeah. These things here called hands, wrists, and all these muscles here and tendons and bones, they're very delicate. Very, 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 very delicate. You have to be careful with it. It doesn't take much to injure them. Especially playing the drums. That takes a lot of, uh, a lot of pressure. When you hit these drums, that's hard, man. I don't know how you could do that. We have people on the streets mm -hmm. that uh, that play the drums. We have the guys with these little um, with these empty plastic buckets, and they're very, very inventive. They're very, very inventive, and they have like uh, pots and pans, and they have the little drumsticks. And again, they're clever. These are clever people. They bang them and they whack them and they have a good time playing them. Yeah, I got to take a week off because it's going to get pretty shitty week now. Week, week is shitty week. It's going to be a pretty shitty week. It's been a shitty week since they put us on lockdown, brother. It's been shitty since the first day they did it. It's been shitty, period. Nothing but crap oozing down the street, oozing, crap oozing down the streets. Shh, crappy week. You got that right. Oh, you got that right. And who is that third person? Hello, third person. Share a conversation with us, please. Please, please, please say, oh, now the person's gone. He disappeared. That could have been a troll for all I know. Nope, the person's back. Hello. I got five people. Wow. I'm doing hot tonight. Hey, guys, how are you? Now back to four. We're talking about the COVID night. Now I'm down to three. Boy, I must be ugly looking. I'm scaring people away. They don't want to say anything. As if my pal moving on back up to three. Hello, third person. Chime in on the conversation. This coronavirus thing. Was it engineered or not? Was a biological web? No, I learned that the third person disappeared again. 
Oh, there's P hi Pee Wee. Hey there, Maurice. Sp 2027 Space Odyssey KJ2 has just landed into the pod here on Moonbase Alpha. This is Moonbase Alpha, Moonbase Alpha to 2027 Space Odyssey KJ2. Come in, KJ2. This is Moonbase Alpha. <laughs> This is um, KJ2 to control. KJ2 to control. Please open up your hangar deck. Then <laughs> clear the hangar deck. Clear the hangar deck. Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. Prepare to accept the KJ2 into the hangar deck. Hangar deck depressurizing. Hangar and shuttlecraft KJ2, you are allowed to enter the space station. Commander Carl in Commander Carl is in command. I, I why, well, why am I saying that twice in one sentence? What am I a ding dong? Ding dong with no filling. Yeah, Commander KJ2 has just landed. In the space station. Space, space station landing station is becoming pressurized. Pressurize all systems. Pressurize, pressurized. You may now disembark from your shuttlecraft, KJ2. Aye, aye. This is Commander Carl speaking. May I come on deck? And the captain says... Sure you can. Commander on the bridge now. Commander on the bridge. My favorite scientist, Neil deGrasse Tyson, said some horrible stuff about how it's our fault for not listening to scientists. Oh, wait, 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 wait. They can't blame you and I. They can't blame Commander Carl of the KJ-6 on 2. Are you okay? No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not in a good mental state of mind. Oh boy, I forgot to tell you the latest. I was I no hold on to your underwear, guys. Zip. Something interesting happened today, gentlemen. I was uh visiting my friend who owns a tax preparer's office, and I had my I I, I was at the computer not to command module. Diggy 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 ding ching 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 beep boop 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 went out of the blue. It's you, buddy, buddy, Carlos. Yeah, me, Carlos. I'm Carlos. Yeah, I'm Carlos, my alter ego. Yes, I'm Carlos. And Dave has disappeared into the netherworld. I'll finish the story that Dave was trying to tell you. Hold on tight to your underwear, gentlemen. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Strap in, strap in. So I'm over here at the computer. Beady, beady, boop, beady. Or shall I say, Dave is at the beady, beady, boop thing. When all of a sudden... I want to try to have some fun tonight. When all of a sudden I hear a man who walks in and says to the owner of the of the establishment, you're not wearing a mask and you're sitting at the reception desk without a mask and you're talking to customers. I have to summons you. What? What do you mean summons? Yeah, it's now it's against now it's against the law to be caught with or without without a mask. You have to have the mask on when you go outside. So I didn't say anything because guess what? Did I have my mask on? No. Why do you ask? I'll tell you why. I'm not talking to anybody. Yeah, ding dong with no filling. Pressurized also. I, I, I got my system pressurized. So as I was saying about the funny story, the sheriff comes in and cites my friend, not with civil war, uh, not with civil summons, criminal. Criminal summons. They're criminal. You know how serious? I mean, he's a criminal because he doesn't because he's not wearing a mask. Since when is it a crime to wear a surgical mask? I'm dumbfounded. I I am besides myself. Besides myself, that they issued this man two summons. Because he was not wearing a mask. I could not believe 
what I heard and saw. The cop, better known as a flatfoot, came in with no mask. And he came back, he came in with no mask, and he came back with the summons. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you. I appreciate it. And he came back with the mask. Now, why is that? Why is that? I don't get it, boys and girls there in Wonderland. Chime in on the conversation. Let's say something. Yeah, they gave him two criminal summons. I'm glad he didn't come after me. But then again, I wasn't with anybody. Both both my flanks, there were nobody, there was no one. And I was just looking straight into the computer screen. Yeah. And he was smart not to argue with him or say anything to him. Because he could have shut him down right then and there. Yes, welcome fifth person. We're talking about the uh, COVID-19 mystery combination disease or virus. Vir I don't know. Does anybody remember? A virus is dead, right? A bacteria is a living creature, but if it's a virus, it's dead. How do you figure that? I don't remember my biology or chemistry that much, if at all. If at all. That, that was another wasted uh, <laughs> wasted 12 years of my life in school, in, 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 uh, in high school and junior high and elementary. I did get something out of it. I could read and write and function with mathematics, but not with mathematics. I just whip out my handy-dandy cell phone and turn on the the optimized cambubalized calculator. You think I'm going to do fractions and do all these things in my head? No. I let the calculator do that. I, well, that's an interesting down that's and that's a good point. I know some viruses can survive in space. Can you imagine that sh that crap? Viruses can commit, can actually survive in space. Very, 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 very suspicious. Yeah, I want to tell you guys something. Very interesting. I went down. They, they. I, I went. I, I went to this public school that was offering free breakfast and lunch. And I said to myself, you know, let me check it out. Let me see what they're giving people. Well, I'll tell you what they gave me. They gave, now the lady was generous. I thank her. I thank her very much. Thank God for the gift. But you know what they gave these poor people? <laughs> these poor people, like myself. You know, what they, you know what they're giving out? Chicken McNuggets. Four or five pieces of chicken McNuggets. And a, it's a, a little cup, a little cup, mind you, a little cup, a little cup, and a, and a little cup of gabonzo beans, milk, and two blueberry pancake type of uh, things. And I got some apples and an orange juice, another container of milk. Yeah, and I think only dead viruses are in vaccines, but they're but but they live and got their mind of their own. Of course they do. Who's to say it's not consciousness? Who's to say that that it that it isn't alive? I don't know. These are profound, deep questions that I doubt any of these scientists even think about. That's right, boys and girls. That's what they're giving out for free to people that are hungry. Nasty, pasty food. Wow, and meanwhile in Harlem, the murderers and inmates that F. de Blasio let out are robbing and breaking glass, stealing booze and everything from all the bodegas. Really? I haven't heard that report. Well, that's an interesting bit of information. Gee, Willikers, I wonder if the main, what I call the, the legacy media, known as ABC, CBS, and NBC... Didn't report that. Hmm. Very, very suspicious, friends. Very, very suspicious. Yeah. We're in danger. 
than letting them out. I heard a very good argument about that, <laughs> about releasing these prisoners. I don't know the, the efficacy of doing such things. I don't know what to think. It's like it's a now it's really a broken society. It's a broken society. That that's how I see the whole system, a broken society. You have people that are cursing and condemning those that are outside that've been locked up for six, seven, eight weeks. They run a run out and enjoy their lives because it's tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, and people are getting upset. I don't get upset. I have no problem with it. If they want to go outside, that's their business. Not mine. Yeah, they let out 400 criminals. Yeah. I wonder where they got any place to go. Did they, did they give them hotel rooms? Did they give them uh, ankle bracelets to see where they're at? I think not, my friend. I think not. Me think not. This is amazing. 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 I've heard arguments about it, but I don't know what to think. Hello, fifth person. Bus tokens? Why, are they giving them bus tokens? You guys still have bus tokens? We got away with that. Now we're high definition. They give us metro cards. Yeah, yeah. And you go to the computer, and you put in a couple of bucks to get your metro card. Amazing, wouldn't you say? I think it's absolutely amazing. That they have uh, on certain lines a billet machine, which is okay. This is how it used to work. Well, this is how it works. You whip out your Metro card. I'll use this as a poor example. You whip out your Metro card. I love this one. It sticks. Pull out your Metro card. Put in the machine. Beep boop, and you pay for your and you pay for your ride. And, you, it's a, and the transfer is already built in. That's how high-end we are. But on other lines, like the M34 and the, uh, the Madison Avenue buses, no, you have to go to a machine, an outside machine, and put your card in and get a paper transfer. That, that doesn't make any sense. Imagine, the, the original way was just slapping your card in when you get on board. You say, hello, Mr. Bus Driver, how are you today? And he'll probably 9 out of 10 not even bother to answer you, which is okay. They hate their jobs with great benefits and a great pension and great health insurance, but they're not happy with their jobs. Okay. I'll take it. I'll be happy to take it and laugh at myself that I spent how many years in a college studying my profession? Because I turned out to be one big fat joke. Verify fact, Dave. Mom confirmed restaurants boarding up on the west side. What? Boarding up on the west side and upper east side, too. Because they don't know what the future lies. They don't know what's going to happen. Because the mayor isn't making making, making no concerted effort, let alone the governor, about when they're going to open up. So, of course, they're going to board up. Maybe these 400 criminals are breaking in. That's what they're boarding up the restaurants for. We have 400 crazy people. No, in San Diego, I, I, I couldn't imagine how many people that they have going around breaking into restaurants. Because I've seen restaurants with the sign outside, there's no money inside. There's no money inside. So they know. They know. I know there's a uh, high-end fashion boutique place that put on fancy makeup. They're all boarded up. Verified fact. Mom confirmed. Does your mom live in New York? Well, she must live in New York if she knows that. Goodbye, fourth person. Alvita Zane. If you chime in on the conversation, you might get something intelligent from my mouth. I'm just talking about nonsense right now. Yeah, the COVID-19. Some people say it's biologically engineered. Some people say it's not. I don't, I, I, I'm on the fence. I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle of the crossfire here. And no one's asking me how I feel. 
And to speak and speaking of which, I heard something today on a podcast where the reporter said that Cuomo, the governor of our great colony, wants to keep the city locked down until they find a cure. Good luck, bozo. Good luck. Because as of today, they haven't developed a vaccine for AIDS. Why? Well, how come you're not getting that unlimited cash? You're a professional roofer whose business, whose boss decided to go out of business after 25 years. He didn't think of you guys, did he? What's he thinking about you guys? And all those accounts that he has, he pissed them off. He pissed them away. What he should have done is say, "Listen, boys and girls, I'm going to go, I'm going to take a nice early retirement here. Won't you, boys and girls, take over the business for me and slap over an extra five or ten percent? Okay, how's that for a deal? If you need advice, what you do, what you don't, because you're a professional roofers, take over the. I have, for example, say twenty five accounts, and they belong to you, and the deal is I get five percent or six percent." And you guys take over the business. It's all yours. I don't want the headache anymore. Provided I get my 7%. He could have done that as opposed to closing up the outfit and leaving all his people screwed. Huh? He could have done that. But no, 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 no. He couldn't do that. Could he? No, no. That's being uh, thoughtful. That's being considerate. Gosh, it's too much, too much, too much, too much, too much, too much, too much. I don't know what's going to happen. The fearful future, an unknown future. I don't know what to say. David Newsom, giving the addicts in the hotels cases of vodka and gin, oxybenzos and methadone and cash plus hotel. I, you know, I believe what you're saying, but it's unbelievable. They're boarding up so they don't so they don't trash the restaurants. Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. Yeah, they're boarding it up because they don't want the place trash. Restaurant, the owner was pleading with criminals, take the food and cash, but don't wreck my place. I don't want to be able to reopen. On the news tonight with NYC Direct. Yeah. That's why they're doing it, because they don't want the place trash. Just take the food and money. Go. Take the food. Bye-bye. Our weeders, our weeders, our weeders, Zane. Our weeders, Zane. So they bought up the place because it's going to be a nice long haul. A long haul. Yes, sir, Bob. That was a highlight of my day, hearing that sheriff officer charge my friend with two criminal offenses of not having a mask and sitting at the counter without a mask. Isn't the first offense enough? You made your point. Succinctly, you made your point. Ouch. Ouch. One was enough. Now a second one? I'm sitting at the counter without a mask? And I'm... I, what's wrong with these people? What's wrong with these people? You're jokers, man. Big, fat jokers. It ain't funny no more. Uh-uh. It ain't funny no more. But what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I don't know what to do. I was in shock for the whole day. The whole day. Hello, fourth person. Welcome. Howdy doody, fourth person. Speak up and speak your mind. Say something. Contribute to the conversation. We are talking about the coronavirus or COVID-19 and the ramifications, the outcome, and the shit that we're going to endure for a long time, I think. But I don't know. 
I don't know. I could be wrong. I'm just assuming that it's that way. I'm speculating. There's, it's not based upon facts or evidence. I believe in those principles. Facts, evidence, and wisdom. And wisdom tells me you can't look into the future. You can guess all you want, but we don't know what's going to happen. And you don't want to add to the fear porn that's already out there. A lot of fear porn that nobody needs. No fear porn. Really, they're still giving tickets. They're giving uh, they're giving tickets to the homeless and tourists get tickets. That's not a smart thing to do with the tourists because you want their tourist dollars, don't you, Mr. Governor? Don't you? And if they live out of state, who is going to oblige them to pay those tickets? So just like, tough luck. You're not going to get my money. I want to go back to uh, Utah or to Nevada and not pay the tickets. They could do that. Unless they probably, I, I'm sure they have reciprocity. I suspect that the DMVVs in both states have reciprocity with each other. So when you head back home to Nevada... And you don't want to pay the ticket. You get a letter from the from the Nevada DMV telling you, oh, by the by, you haven't paid that ticket for not wearing a mask in San Diego. If you don't pay the ticket, we will not re renew your license. They can blackmail you that way, couldn't they? Couldn't they? Because that's what it is. It's called blackmail. What the heck does the governor of Nevada have, have any interest or care about what you're doing in the state of California. If you jaywalk, they're going to give you a ticket. And if you want to pay it, I just say, hear ye, hear, hear. Hear ye, hear ye. Citizens, friends, Romans, and countrymen, I say unto thee. Don't worry about it. You're a resident of Nevada, not California. You don't want to pay it? That's fine. When the governor of California calls you, I say, yo, Piss off, mate. Piss off. They have my permission. They have my permission. My permission as governor of the state of Nevada to not to pay you. If anyone's going to be ticketing these people, it's going to be me, not you. But you know these states—they're in collusion. They're all a little collusion. It's the biggest mafia of the whole country. It's not the mafia. It's not the mob. It's the governments. The government is the biggest mafia, Don. Because they have a lot more power than the mafia. The mafia will either beat you, silly, or kill you. That's the choice they give you. I'll beat you to a pope, or I'll kill you, or both. The government does the same thing. They shake you down. Some police told my friend Panos, who got ticketed with two criminal citations for not wearing a mask or sitting at a desk, the cops warned him, we're going to start ripping up, the, we're going to be ripping out all the summons on this population because the city is broke. The city and the, and the state is flat broke and they got to raise the money somehow, some way. Oh, welcome to the grand old USA. I love it. I that this I, I love it. This is gonna be one bumpy ride, boys and girls. Strap yourself in. It's gonna be a wild one tonight. That's right. We're gonna be off like a prom. We're off like a prom dress. Yeah. Remember the old one we went to prom? They were off with the prom dress, the girls? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were busy trying to get rid of their you know what. Welcome, fifth person. Hello, the hey Rob, welcome, welcome to the chat room. Rob. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Our fourth person, fifth person has arrived to join in this interesting conversation about the coronavirus. Yes. And guess what? Do you remember? Now we have another threat. The Japanese dragon hornet. Bzz, 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 bzz. Now we have to worry about that. The hornet. I've seen pictures of those suckers, man. They're big. They are some big MFers, dude. Big whopper, these nasty looking, evil, sinister looking creatures. Murder hornets. Yes, they could be the green hornet. 
Oh, no, 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 no. We could have the Green Hornet that does good things like fight crime with Cato, his his buddy. And we have Murder Hornets. Yes. And if my information is correct, they have killed 50 people. I guess their stinger must be very, very effective. And how did they get here? I wonder. They probably start, I'm sure they went on a vacation across the Merry Happy Pacific on one of those cargo vessels loaded with, loaded with Japanese products. Or someone captured a bunch of them and let them run wild in California. Who knows? I haven't come across where they come, you know, well, I know where they came from, but how did they get here? And now the uh, the scientists are scrambling around like Mo, Larry, and Curly. Watch out, knucklehead. Hey, yeah, they don't want to stop it here. Yeah, I'm, I'm a victim of circumstance. I'm a victim of circumstance. I tell you, whap you. Oh, here. wait, 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 wait. That's right. They're scrambling like crazy, like the three students trying to find out where they're at. Because they're because of they're attacking the honeybees. These are some nasty ass little hornets, dude. They decapitate those little creatures, little the little honeybees. Yeah, they're nasty. I said, oh, oh no, oh the bug. You know, Maurice, you said I saw a bug yesterday I've never seen before, and it was a black giant hornet with a large red stinger. That could have been it, dude. Yep, just kiss to just keep them on the west coast. Let them sting the governor. He might change his mind, boys and girls out there in YouTube land. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep them there. They said, but but these are big suckers, man. They're big. They're big. And I saw uh, some video footage of uh, the killer, the killer hornet, or the murder hornets. Attacking another murder hornet hive. They're crazy. These these things are. I mean, they're like human beings. They're exhibiting behaviors like human beings. They're warlike, violent, murderous creatures. Yes, a regular hornet hurts. Now, can you imagine what a hornet like that was going to hurt? I heard that they have the ability of killing people. They've killed fifty people. I don't know whether it's here or in Japan. That's cuckoo bird. That's cuckoo for cocoa puffs. Yeah, I don't believe this. It just came out of nowhere. Came out of the great sky of Valhalla and floated down to us humans to enjoy. Yes, I love that. Yes. Buzz in, buzz out. Let's raise some cane in North America. Yes, it's sheer insanity, boys and girls. I wonder what's next. I wonder what else is going to come and threaten us. Got to worry about the invisible invader and the false stats on it being locked down for how many weeks and they want to drag it on further. Well, you know, speaking about, you know, murderous hornet, look at that, uh, that governor in, in Illinois. And the other governor, I believe, in Philadelphia, her eyes are so far apart, she looks almost comical. What's her name? Uh, let's see. Bin and Bad Year looks like it's only going to get worse. Well, you know, Rob, I hope not. I hope not. But I got this real bad feeling inside here that's, you know, I keep it locked in. I keep it locked in. Tom Wolf is a clown. Yes, who's Tom Wolf? I keep forgetting, keep forgetting. Tom Wolf, I'll look it up. Yes, I hope you're wrong, my friend Rob. I hope we were all wrong. Tom Wolf. Who could that be? Supreme Court. Oh, yeah, Supreme Court den denies to lift Pennsylvania stay at home. What? Tom Wolf, well, wait, 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 wait. No, I don't want to sign up to Governor Wolf. Creates a Commonwealth civilian coronavirus support to support fall COVID recovery. Support fall. Well, you know, are you going to hire us, the unemployed? 
As Pennsylvania plans to safely open, reopen the economy, recover COVID-19, Governor Commonwealth announced the creation of Commonwealth Civilian Corona Corps, a public service initiative that will support efforts this fall to increase testing and contact tracing and provide critical job opportunities in the public health sector. Well, that excludes me. That excludes me because I'm not in the public health sector. So is there any good news? Must be something no one else hasn't dropped a nuke yet. Fingers crossed. Yeah, I'm waiting for that one to happen. You know, it's funny you mentioned that because a couple of days ago, I had in my mind's eye a vision of a nuclear, thermal nuclear weapon detonating on the ground or just above us. Because from what I understand is that many of these new thermal nuclear weapons, they detonate above the city. They don't just go boop and hit the ground as far as I know. I'm sure they got a few of those still those old suckers laying around. But it detonates above the city. And, it sh and, and, and there's another type that 500 miles or 1,000 miles up or whatever. And it shoots out other miniature thermal nuclear weapons. Can you believe that crap? The good news news everybody's going to be kung fu fighting. Yeah, kung fu fighting when there's bread lines. I hope not. I don't know. All because that they wanted to close off the economy. They're going to do more damage. I'm hearing all over the place of psychologists complaining that this is going to create permanent scars on people. Emotional scars, psychic scars. For example, speaking of emotional scarring, I have a friend of mine who is a manager of mine. I already said that. And she has two lovely little children. And they've been cooked up in the house for six, seven, eight weeks now. And her little daughter had a coronavirus. and was pretty heavy duty. But she got over it. But she has a nice little house with a little teeny tiny backyard where, you know, you can't let the kid run wild. It's not very big. And the front yard, she, she can't let the kid run around because it's on a hill. And if the ball goes over the hill, the kid's going to go after it. It's gonna, and the kid's going to go into the freaking street with the ball. And most likely get hurt. God forbid. Man, they're not ever even. Yeah, I take back to what I just said. But it doesn't happen. And she's sick and tired of it. She's sick and tired of being cooped up in the house with this child. She's homeschooling her. And as we all know, I'm not a certified educator. And how and what do they do? Because my friend Panos, he has his kid doing his doing her homework. And they just like they email it to her computer. It's not as if everybody has computers, by the by. And she doesn't want to do her homework. He spent the whole day going after the kid to do her homework. Do your homework. Do your homework. And she doesn't want to. She wants to run and play. She wants to scream and yell and be a kid. How is New York the last few days? Probably like every other freaking city in the country. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. I have on my YouTube channel video footage of before and now after. I can't even look at the before video. I start to... I start getting anxiety attacks because I see the same footage. I, I, I go I go back to the same place and I videotape it and it's and it's empty. It's like something out of a Twilight Zone episode. Yeah, well, they're kids. There's no stimulus to 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 get the children to do their work. She wants to, she's a normal child. She wants to run out and play and be a child. But when she's with that group of kids, with the teacher in front of her, yes, she does her homework because she has the incentive to do the homework. She's not going to take mom and pops too seriously. Mom and pops, I get away with murder with them. I do whatever I want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. Uh, I love that night. When she was showing off all her gourmet ice cream hmm? in her $24,000 refrigerator, you know, why don't you slap me in the face with your puss next time, why don't you? 
do me a favor, me smack, smack your puss in my face. Because that's what she was doing. The average, you know, I, I think uh, I, there are a lot of people with families that, that don't want to go spend $10, $12 for gourmet ice cream like this when you have a kid or two kids. You buy Breyer's ice cream because it's more economical. Yep, I wish I could do. You know how many times they have died in my mind? I've murdered these people in my mind. How many times? And I'll tell you what I'm dreaming about. I, I, I had these visions of my mind. Let's see. What do you mean they call? What the? Uh, 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 really? Really? So what's going to happen? They're going to resort to... Uh, Jump, popping open the fire hydrants to cool their asses off. Yeah, well, what's what is it with these people? See, they're gonna make us ass. They're gonna make us suffer right through. They are determined, and the president needs to step up to the plate and say, "Enough is enough. Enough is enough." Reopen the pools. Yes. 25, 30, 50 percent. How big is the pool? How many people can you have them safely in? And do it that way. And most of all, East Coast. Yeah, yeah, I'm not surprised. You know, what I mean, they're so worried about us, and how come we don't have affordable health insurance? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're so worried about me. Oh, you're worried about me infecting somebody? Well, well, that's a pretty big assumption on your part to say that I may have it. You have no evidence that I have her, and or anybody else in the street has it. Huh? And they're discovering, and, and, and the government, the government is discovering, little by little, that um, that uh, people have already have the antibodies. They don't want to let you know, you know, they don't want to tell you that one. Beaches are closed. East Coast pool beaches are closed in December, too. What are these people going to do? Take unlimited showers in their apartments? And they don't have the money to pay their rent? And they're quibbling over the next stimulus package? Like another 1200 bucks is going to help anybody? Who are they kidding? And they're going to give you $2,000 a month? Who are they kidding? If you got rent, there are people who live here in my hood that are paying over $1,500 a month for rent. And what is $1,500 going to do for you? And then the mayor, de Blasio here, let's see, what did we say? Of course, teenagers and teenagers will get into more trouble this summer. Of course. Of course. No summer Oh, my goodness gracious. No summer jobs. There's plenty of things they can, that these kids can do. They can put me to work. Cleaning the streets, right? Get the big pompiers, the big fire trucks, fill them up with water and hose down the street to make them nice and clean. Put on your mascara. Put on your special bio, bio suit. And... You're off the job. You you know, you want to stay on unemployment? Yeah, okay, fine. Well, I'm paying twenty something dollars an hour to do this and we'll I'll make sure that you're taking care of him. Plus, damn it, you know, man, it's not like you're being to be in direct contact with anything. It was some research I did last night, and they're most likely engineer new coronavirus so they can survive in the heat of Africa. I, I wouldn't be surprised. The thing is, I would like to know your source and scrutinize that source because that's that could be all fear porn, for all we know. They, you know, who knows who's out there trolling us, getting us scared. Yep. In today's happy, now let's see. In today's happy, happy news. And Yahoo News, it was that. Let's see, Yahoo News. There was some photograph. Of people having a good time outside. And it became a controversy. Can I still find it? Obama calls GLP requests without... Pre Obama, shut up. 
shut up. Oh, please, oh, but you, oh, please, shut up, man, shut up. You're retired. You're making your millions. You're making money. Yet the Fox News host questions timing of biting allegations. He's been, you know. Ah. Yeah. A mass job, pay bills or buy food. Okay, this is the this is the mess they got us into. Well, get us out of it, boys and girls. Get us out of it. You got us into this mess. Now get us out of it. And I heard that Mrs. Pelosi told the president that we'll give you the money that you want. Queen Pelosi ice cream is worth. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well then, yeah, I believe it. But Mrs. Pelosi or the Queen Pelosi told Mr. Trump, President, uh, Commander in Chief Trump, that we'll give you the money that you want if you let us take away their guns. Good luck in trying to enforce that. Do you see how evil these people are? They're evil. They're evil. They are evil. Yeah. By appointment only. Are you pissing me? Are you pissing me? That's moronic. You can walk into a McDonald's. You maintain your so-called social distancing. And you get your quarter pounder with cheese or your double quarter pounder. And you're done. You play, You pay for the food. And you walk over to the receiving section. You keep your social distance. And you take the stuff and go. You mean Best Buy can't do that? You think I'm going to make an appointment to go buy something expensive? Think Ken is implying with guns being token, token, taken away right now. Yeah, of course. And what can, they, what can the Canadian citizens do? What can they do? Not that much. Not that much. And people are just staying there, just like, here, take me, take me, take me. They're not fighting back. Where's the ACLU? Well, where's the ACLU when you need them? Where's the NRA? You haven't heard very much from the NRA, right? Has anyone heard anything from the NRA? Is the NRA popping up and saying, you can't do this, you can't do that? Like I said last night, there isn't some enterprising attorney who sees a great opportunity to make a name for himself. And file some law, law, uh, law, uh, some file a lawsuit against these people, against the government. I, I, I don't get this. I don't get this. Where are the lawyers? Where are the lawyers? Are they sellout too? Could be. Could be sellouts. We've had enough. This guy called Lionel Nation. Very interesting, a very interesting chat place. He said today, we've had an enough. Enough already. Enough. This has to come to an end as soon as possible. The sooner the better. Yes, open up in, in, intelligently and wisely. But people got to get back to work, man, or there'll be no work to be had. And is that what they're going to have you do? Be unemployed? Oh, please. I don't want to think that crap. I don't want to think it. I don't want to think it. It must be, you know, where am I, when am I going to wake up? When am I going to wake up? When, 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 when am I going to wake up? I don't know. This is one Long nightmare. This has to come to an end. I've had enough of it. Yeah, and you know who's letting it crumble? It's very own citizens. The own citizens are letting it crumble. They're not protesting. 
They're not pressuring the governor or their mayors or their council people or their elected representatives. I once again, I, I once again, you know, there's got to be got to be like the NRA. Why can't the NRA organize something? And they have lawyers, lawyer up, and go after them with lawsuits. Sue them, sue them. I'm sure they can find a sympathetic, um, a sympathetic, a sympathetic mind within the judiciary system of their respective states. Sure, these things are unconstitutional. And we sit by and do nothing. Nothing. I sat today, Rob, at my friend's tax office, and out of the blue, a sheriff comes in and summons the owner of the establishment because he wasn't wearing a mask, and two, he was sitting at a reception desk without a mask. Isn't the first charge enough? Why couldn't he just summons him with one? He said, listen, I want to summons you with this one charge. And by the way, it's a criminal charge, not a civil penalty. It's criminal. He has to go to criminal court in September. You believe this? Yeah. Walked in out of the blue and issued him two summons. I think he was ratted out. I think he was ratted out. Why did he pick his place? Now, granted, you know, he may have been the only tax store open on the block today. Excuse me. He came in, and then he went around the block, saw him going to his car, and he almost stopped because he didn't see the mask on him. He was going to give him another warning or another summons. It's crazy. They're ripping tickets on people like there's no tomorrow. No tomorrow. And they're going to issue you tickets if they see you without a mask on. <laughs> oh, boy. That really wants to keep you from going out. You just well stay at home. Stay, stay inside my little bug out room here and just not leave. Just stay here in my little prison in the apartment. I'm a prisoner of my own making. Because you've seen what happened sometime last week. Yeah, yep, yeah, that's a brilliant, that, that's true. Just wait. Just wait. When the heat waves come in, I hope they, they don't come in. I hope, they does, I hope it doesn't happen. They must be planning for that. I, I, I suspect that, they, that if they don't know that, they're pretty stupid. And judging by their performance, they're pretty stupid. Or they know it, and they're going to be waiting for you to give you a, a, a summons, a criminal summons. You're, you're a criminal for not wearing your mask. Oh, my God, what is going to happen? And if they do open up the restaurants and the cafes and the bars and so forth like that, you have to be working in those places with the mask and the gloves. That's going to sound like a lot of fun to me. Tons of fun. Tons of fun. And unemployment will be exhausted for how many thousands of people? Millions of people there are unemployment will be exhausted. Are the cities going to refill their coffers with unemployment money? Hmm? Why didn't the government extend the extra 600 bucks a week up until September. At least give us till September. Oh, please. Please fix it until September. But no. The end of July. In the middle of the heat waves, we're going to find out I ain't getting my extra $600 a week and I got a couple more weeks until my unemployment is exhausted. Yeah, good for you. Good for you. Take it off. Peel it off. Peel it off. We're in control, not them. We've allowed them to take control over us. And if you resist them, they can arrest you. Well, you know, then you fight back. You carry a building club. When he tries to go after you, whack him over the head. 
If you kill him, well, that's the call. Well, that's that's the price of freedom. That's the price you have to pay for freedom and liberty. You whack him. You you hit him hard. You hit him hard, and you run. And hopefully he's hit hard enough where he won't pick up his weapon to discharge it and to, to discharge it, to shoot you with it. That's what gets me. They'll discharge that weapon and kill you if you resist it. Or they'll do what they did to that kid up in the Bronx, I think. Four or five cops jumped on him, and one of them was sitting on his head. My friend asked me why they don't, why they didn't caution tape the basketball courts, and my response was, because only thing through, yeah, yeah, that's right, because they took down the the uh, the hoops, the basketball hoops in the parks here, because the cops, because the kids were playing and they weren't practicing social distancing. They had it planned. They knew that people were going to obey. They knew that. They knew that. They took it down to antagonize. The young people, who, or the people that play basketball, to do something else. It's human nature. The, the, the human nature is, if human, humans don't want to be told what to do. Everything's a negotiation. Everything's diplomacy. Use some negotiation techniques or tactics and use diplomacy. Employ both of them at the same time. Blend them like a milkshake. So you can inspire the people to cooperate with you. But the people don't believe what they're hearing. You know, not that I'm marginalizing the people that have died, but we just, you know, but we haven't topped off 100,000 I'm 100,000 people yet. That lost their lives to this nonsense. And I hear that the defibrillators or the air vents or the air lungs aren't all that good. I hear all these things that I call cognitive dissonance, and I don't know if they're true or not. I research it, and let's see. They chain park fences in Philly, but a lot of kids climb the. Of course, they're going to climb the fence. I'm not surprised. It's their hood. It belongs to them, not to the mayor of the city. It belongs to them. They want to play. They want to have a good time. It's normal for them to run around and play and do silly things to each, with each other. Baba Venga, the lady who preceded some, who predicted so much, said Obama Hussein would be the last president. Oh, I hope that's. Uh, Baba Venga, she's the Russian lady, right? What's going to happen to Trump? They're going to assassinate him? I don't know what she means by that. You know, are they going to kill him? Is he going to become a dictator? I, You know, I, I, I don't know. Are they going to, you know, like I said, assassinate him and place him with whom? And we're going to let a dictatorship run us, run the country? We're going to do nothing? The military is going to sit by and let this happen? There's got to be good commanders. See, there must be good officers. There must be good soldiers who refuse to shoot on American, uh, American citizens. He's going to get the virus? Trump? I hope not. And who's going to replace him? Pence? We have a measured choice, huh? Yeah. I wonder why is that? What are they up to? What are they up to? Very suspicious behavior, these people. And we don't have weapons. I don't, I don't have a gun. Does anybody have a gun out there on YouTube land? How are we going to resist them? And they're and they're packing nine millimeter semi-automatic Glocks with uh, with uh, bulletproof vests. And what am I packing? I'm packing this. No, 
No, no, I wasn't interested. I wasn't interested. I'm sure it's nice, but I wasn't interested at all in watching them. What, they're going to get me out of my situation? That's just a diversion. It's diversion. Smoke and mirrors. Here's the mirror. Here's the mirror. Here's the mirror. That's psychological bullshit that's going to make me feel proud. Of what? Of what? I don't want to lose my house, lose my apartment, have no food to eat. How's that going to make me feel better? Anyone who went out there to see, in my opinion, is cracked. Is cracked. I don't know whose idea was that, but it didn't work. How's it going to make me feel better? Well, those are probably rich people that have plenty of money in the bank. And they can afford to feel, oh, I feel so inspirational. Not as if I don't love my country. I love the Constitution and the Bill of Rights more than I love the country. The country just land. I can uh, jump on a spaceship and go to the, and go to a, a habitable planet a hundred million light years away and bring the Constitution and plant it on that ground like with my flag and say, this is now a republic of one person, myself. Please. I love the Constitution and the Bill of Rights and the system that people that the Founding Fathers created. I have a fake gun. Yeah, I got a fake gun. You know what I got? Let me show you guys. Yes, I I live in one of the suburbs called the story. You know what I got? I got a gun too. I show you my gun. It's my phase weapon. My Star Trek phaser gun, you see? You oh oh it ain't working. It's not juiced up. Oh no. Oh no, I can't zap myself, but I have a backup. I have a hand phaser. That's right, boys and girls. If the phase phaser two doesn't work, then go for phaser one. You see it? It's right here. Phaser one. Here, I have to show you guys my secret weapon against the military invaders called the National Guard. This was guaranteed to scare them away. Yeah, I, I, and I only got a tattoo gun. Yeah, I could tattoo something on those on the National Guard. Okay, come over here, young fellow. Let me go tattoo that for you. You need a tattoo. See, I got my secret weapon here. The hand phaser. I'll zap you. You're going to disappear. Zap. You're gone. Yes, they did fly over New York City. Rob Tom Pence right, right now. Highest level SS security. Like, yeah. Yeah, it's a secret SS security like wartime New York. And see, yeah, that's right. But see... I got the great equalizer here. It's called my Phaser 1. That's right. The original Phaser. That's right, boys and girls. Can you hear it? That's right. Here's the other one. Here's Phase 2. It, that, that's the stun. I'll stun him. Then I got to make him disappear. That's right. I'll make you disappear. I'll make them disappear. You come. Don't come after me. Don't come near me, soldier. I have a hand phaser here. I will make you disappear. Oh, you're gone. You're disappeared, right? Yeah. I'm going to scare them all right. They're going to cat me so fast in the head. And you see them at a distance? You mean you see the blue angels? You see my phase, my phaser weapon. Yes, my phaser gun. It's lethal. It's going to make you disappear. I put this on kill. I'll vaporize you. I'll vaporize all of you. Don't drop your weapons. I'll vaporize you. Yeah, do you? The phaser gun. Yes, it's my weapon to defend myself from the evil empire. I'll make them disappear. Stay away. You'll zap them. You disappeared. That's right. Put it on wide angle, on widespread. 
I make them all disappear. One, oh, the Blue Angels, yeah. Yeah, I got a Blue Angel, too. <laughs> I got a Blue Angel. He ain't blue anymore. <laughs> I wish I had a real one. Well, well, you, well, you can buy them now on uh, on YouTube. They're like blue laser guns, and they're so hot, they're able to burn through wood. Hot diggity dog. But I want one that makes you disappear, that, that vaporizes you in a second. That's what I want. I want one of these. I just vapor. I just one, one zap, and you're gone. That's the perfect murder weapon. You disappear, people. That's right. I think it's a perfect weapon. You just watching Star Trek Enterprise? Yeah, you saw a lot of these, I'm sure. The original one, the card. Did you see the original one? I'd like the I like the original Star Trek. I you know I like uh, Star Trek Next Generation and Voyager and and Deep Space Nine. After that, it. it I'm lost with it now. I'm lost with this new Discovery one and Picard. You know what they're doing on the new Picard now? I saw I saw some some footage of it. They're cursing. They're cursing. Yeah, I'm sure. Here. It's working. I can feel that it's working. Thank you for the idea there, Maurice. It's working. Yes, sirree. That's our future. Oh, I wish this could really... Ho oh, you miss hockey? Yes. Give me one of these. That really works. And you'll see how they change your mind. I'll be zapping everything. First one I'll zap is the governor and then the mayor. But then I violated one of the laws, one of the laws of God. Thou shall not kill. I don't want to kill anybody. And then if I do it, what does it get me? Nothing but a evil, but a bad conscience. Yeah, you miss hockey and I miss working. I see the fifth person has left. I wonder why the fifth person didn't have anything to say. I don't know what to say. Oh, the fifth person came back. Who's that fifth person? Say something. Rob misses hockey. I miss hockey. I'm not a fan of it, but I miss hockey. I miss all those sports. It's good to have those sports. People need sports. People need a diversion. People work hard all week. They want some fun in their lives. They don't want to be locked up. The governor isn't locked up. The mayor isn't locked up. They live in these big palatial, palatial mount, uh, mansions. Plenty of space. Plenty of money. Plenty of gourmet ice cream. Just like Mrs. Pelosi. In twenty-four thousand dollar refrigerators, that took a lot of balls. Still hard getting toilet paper where I live. Almost two months now. Why doesn't these uh, this this reporter like Mr. Acosta complain to the president? Oh, by the way, Mr. President, people are having a hard time getting toilet paper two months after the fact. Can you somehow? Encourage the manufacturers to start producing more. I mean, uh, what is it with these? What is it with this? Uh, with this toilet paper business? How many times can you take a poop a day? How many? I, I mean, you must be eating like a pig to be pooping two or three times a day. There's UFC in three days, and all the people on five fight card got tested, and none and none of them got really. So it's good nobody lost their sense of humor yet. We got to keep Dave every night, every night. Voyager, Deep Space, Original Next Generation, and Enterprise. Not the not the new ones. The new ones I don't like it. I mean, why couldn't they just continue on with, 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 with the next generation? I don't mind. 
Or whatever happened to Captain Cisco on Deep Space Nine? He's disappeared into the parades? Oh, yeah. The, the prices have skyrocketed, haven't they? Now, this could have been a mistake made by the little counter boy at my favorite, at one of the little bodegas I've been running into. I bought one of the little Debbie's uh, Debbie's oatmeal cookie with, with, with vanilla cream. Hello, number six person. Welcome to our chat club. Welcome. Oh, we're down to five again. And northeast of Philadelphia. Yeah, 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 yeah. I bought a little cookie, 50 cents. He charged me a dollar. I said, sir, that's 50 cents. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Who are you kidding, guy? You trying to get an extra 50 cents out of my ass? Is that what you're trying to do? Another 50 cents? Twilight Zone is on now. Oh, boy, that's very symbolic. That fits my decor of the evening, the Twilight Zone. Yes, sir, the Twilight Zone. Listen, guys, I have something to ask of you. I had somebody tell me that I should keep these chats short, but I can cut it and come back in about five minutes. Is that okay with you guys? I'll be back in about five or ten minutes because according to this person who advised me, it's not good to keep these things too long because people that come afterwards, believe it or not, I have five people in the chat room t talking, or I have four people. I have Rob, Carl, Maurice, and Space Odyssey, Captain Commander Carl of the KJ2. I have four people talking, but there's a fifth person coming out. Go for it. No problem. I'll be right back in about 10 minutes. Just give me 10 minutes to do this. And to the fifth person who remains unheard of, I'll be right back in five minutes and I'll cut it. So hopefully I can attract more people to the channel. Because I really wonder if there's anyone else on YouTube running the mouth that I'm running. I don't know. I really don't know because I have, I have nothing to lose at this point. And we're going to lose everything? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. But remember what we did to Iraq. Maybe this is payback time. And for Vietnam. And in some of the cases, and in one particular case, I heard a nun who said this is for all the abortions that have been allowed to happen. But I haven't done these things. Why should I pay? I'll be right back in five minutes, guys. Give me about five minutes. Okay, I'm coming right back over and out back in five minutes.